Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. A highly recognized sculptor has captured the spirit of some of the most famous French Impressionist paintings. His works of art are now on display in Graham, and as Stephanie Borland shows us, this exhibit entitled Beyond the Frame is causing quite a sensation. One of the reasons for the excitement is that visitors can not only see these life-size pieces, but they can touch them too. Normally, this would be a big no-no at an art show, but this exhibit is specifically designed to be embraced. Just that you can touch it, you can climb on the stage, you can, you can, you know, get close up and see the detail that the artist put into the work. That's one of the reasons Angel Boss and her daughter Rebecca have visited the Beyond the Frame display at the Alamance County Arts Council three times already. And we'll see where Johnson Jr.'s bigger-than-life sculptures are inspired by masterpieces from the French Impressionist era. Learning about them is not lost on the little ones. If you, if you put this little pocket of information into her brain, stored somewhere, she's going to remember this later down the road, and then that's going to build on her knowledge of French Impressionism. You know, it, it's, it's just an opportunity to have this here that... You know, I couldn't give this to her. From Renoir to Monet, visitors are able to see every angle of the artwork. And since these pieces go past the original's framework, Johnson adds his own creative twist, which he often does with a dash of humor. It's like the kimono of the Japanese lady. Um, if you go and look inside the kimono, there's a hidden joke inside there. I won't tell what it is. You have to come here and see what it is. Investigating each feature is exactly what Macy Flood and her mom are doing. There's no binoculars at all. I haven't checked around for rings, but let me go around and look for rings. The folks with the Arts Council have created a scavenger hunt to engage and allow visitors to appreciate every aspect of the art. Kind of hard trying to find all the pins and stuff, but once you pay like a lot of attention to it, it's a lot easier. The pieces that represent 11 paintings in all are certainly capturing the attention of the Alamance County community. From the beauty inspired by Monet's field of poppies to this 20-foot tall monumental sculpture that takes a turn from Renoir. The massive figure, along with a lifelike soiree on the front lawn, are drawing in people from Graham's Main Street and beyond. The first reaction is, oh, they're having another party, and then they'll go by again and they realize that nobody's moving, and so then they realize is they have to stop to see what's going on. Well, actually, we're just passing by, but I've been looking at all this great artwork, you know, and I'm going like, the kids would love it. My granddaughter actually loves it, and they think it's real, and I had to show them that it wasn't real. Once they realize that, their imaginations are ignited. He's trying to steal a kiss. I don't think he's trying to steal a kiss and she's trying to get away from him. It? What do you think? Yeah. And it's not just the enormous and intricate pieces outside that are fooling folks. When people walk in, they think it's a real person and they started talking to her and then they realize it's really, really not a real person. It's a piece of sculpture. It's that approachability that makes Johnson's work so popular. In fact, they have already had 8,000 people come and view this exhibit in just the first month alone. So to put that into perspective, normally they have about 10,000 visitors to the museum each year. This gallery was the perfect canvas to showcase these sculptures, which is one of the reasons it was selected from sites throughout the country. The house was built in 1871. And the Impressionist era is during that 1870s time period. So it all fits very well. The clothing is exactly what the people living in this house would be wearing at the times. It's that blend that truly transports visitors into these unique works of art and allows them to look beyond the frame. For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Stephanie Borland. The Beyond the Frame exhibit is at the Alamance County Arts Council Museum in Graham, located at 213 South Main Street.
The exhibit is free and open to the public through October 31st. You can reach them at 336-226-4495 or check them out online at artsalamance.com. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.